Uh, going back to the Miz winning the championship, uh, I mean, this is a guy that you've worked uh, fairly a lot of programs with, you know, between you and JTG and, of course, Miz and Morrison. I was a big fan, obviously, of the dirt sheet versus word up. I thought you guys had good chemistry. How does it feel, uh, you know, looking back and seeing a guy like the Miz now, the WWE champion? Is that something that you think, you know, he deserves to be there? Or, I mean, how do you feel about that? Well, you know, it's like it's one of those things. Um, I think Miz is a great performer, and I think he was always under uh, underestimated, you know what I'm saying, by a lot of people, by a lot of people. Because, like, I remember somebody, when I was in developmental, the, the question came up was, uh, who thought Miz would win the title? And as a developmental guy, everybody was like, oh, I didn't think he would do it. And I'm like, that's because you want to see one dimension of the Miz, and that's a dimension you're allowed to see on TV. What you don't see is Miz ordering tapes over and over again from office from from Stanford office, you know. I mean, he literally bugs uh, the guys in the video department for videotapes on everybody, from Shawn Michaels to Macho Man Randy Savage, you know, saying to everybody. Miz is a Miz really studies the game of wrestling because a lot of people underestimated him coming from real world, saying, "Okay, you're just here for your five minutes of fame, and you'll be on your way," you know. Right. So, I mean, I, I I've always, I've always seen Miz as a hard worker. And, you know, somebody who studies the game.